Okay, so let's have a look at one of the other versions that I wrote. So I'll just clear this and just open it with Vim. So it's a uh, key board sound v2.py. And if we just have a quick look at this, the only real changes that I've made to this script were to actually find the keyboard file automatically. So this is just a, a generator function. And what this does is you give it a directory and it will go through and it will yield or give us a path to each one of the files within that directory. So if we just scroll down a little bit, um, what this script will do is if the user supplies an event file number, it will use that. Um, if they don't, it will try and guess it by itself. So this is where the generator is used. And all we're doing is we've supplied it with a directory and it's looking in there and it's grabbing all the files. And if one of those file names has got KBD in it, it just adds it to a list. And then we take that list and sort it and just use the keyboard file that shows up in position zero of that list and use that as the file to read from. And we've just got this default statement at the end. So if none of these work, so if the user doesn't provide anything or if it can't guess it, then what will happen is it will just default to event zero. And it is pretty much identical to the other script that we wrote, apart from it guesses the event file. So we can run that. So let's just run that. So Python keyboard sound dash V2. And obviously we need to be root. So SU do. And I'll just enter in my password. And as you can see, that works. So let's just quit that. Whoops. There we go. And the other version that I wrote is pretty much identical to the one that we were using. And the only difference is it's got some different sounds. So let's just have a quick look at that. So Vim keyboard. So again, this is just another iteration on the previous one that we just looked at. So it's got the same automatic looking for the event file. And I just changed the sounds and just cleaned up a few things. So it's pretty much identical. And let's just run that. So su do dot slash keyboard. I just made it executable so we don't need to write Python in there and hit enter. And as you can see, it's got its own sounds. Time for so all I've done is just mapped different sounds to different keys. So A is the inception sound and D time for that. it's just a sound clip, which is probably quite well known. And sorry, that was S and D is just an air horn. And that's it. So let's just close that. Oh, and I handled the exception of the keyboard interrupt. So it doesn't give us an error when we use control C to close it. Uh, it now just says bye. Okay, so that's brought us to the end of this tutorial on how to make your keyboard sound like a typewriter. And I hope you found something in this tutorial useful. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.